listen and practice. Bill Gates Microsoft is one of the most famous international companies in the production of computer programs. Microsoft founder Bill Gates is one of the most famous and richest men in the world. Bill Gates was born on the 28th of October 1955 in Seattle in the United States into a rich family but refused to use a single dollar to build himself and his empire. His mother Mary was a teacher and was a major organizer of his life. His father Bill Jr. was an influential lawyer but was conservative with Bill and his sisters Christine and Libby. Since a young age, even as a mature Bill was untidy and neglected but he did not like to waste time in study or in free time and Bill Gates describes the dinner sessions with his parents as being in a rich environment from which one learns a lot. Bill was an ordinary person but in some ways he was special and different. He had an excellent memory and he always repeated, I can do anything I put all my thinking into. In 1968, the school made a decision that changed the course of 13-year-old Bill Gates' life and as a result changed the way all companies and individuals worked and seriously increased their productivity. Donations were collected especially from parents so that the school could buy a computer with data processor software and through the writer teletype. The most interested students were three, Kent Evans and Paul Allen who was two years older than Gates and later founded Microsoft with him. The three of them were sitting nailed in front of the computer in their spare time and they even became more understanding of computers than their professors which caused for them several problems with professors. They were neglecting their studies because of this new machine. At the age of 14, Bill Gates began writing short programs, the first of which were limited games and he wrote them in basic and his ability to write programs stemmed from his love of mathematics and logic. He then started reading magazines dealing with trade. In 1969, Bill Gates and Paul Allen created a company called Lakeside Computer Programmers Group, and this was a turning point during which the two students learned a lot of things. Also Bill and his companions were able to decipher the secret codes of the company's computer and then they entered the accounting programs played with numbers and reduced the value of computer bills. When the company found out, they contacted the school which banned Bill Gates for six weeks from using the computer. In 1971, Lakeside Computer Coders Group got their first real opportunity although it didn't earn them money. Bill Gates was excluded from working with the group under the pretext that not everyone was necessary but after facing some difficulties Bill was called because they needed him and he was able to do the work well and deliver it on time. Bill Gates and Paul Allen then devised a system to ease traffic crowdedness in cities. Bill Gates was still in school but he had a passion for making more deals, so he and his second friend Kent Evans founded the Logic Simulation Company. In 1972, the school officially commissioned Bill Gates and Evans to write a program that organized classes at the school. A week later, Kent Evans was killed in an accident while he was doing mountaineering and this shocked Bill Gates but continued with Paul Allen. In December 1974, when Paul Allen was on his way to visit Bill Gates, he saw a copy of Popular Electronics magazine and on the cover was a picture of a personal computer named Altair 8800 and brought it to Gates and he realized that the era of the personal computer would begin, 
and would be available to people. So he began to think about writing programs for every computer. The two contacted the company that designed the computer, and its name Mist and its owner Ed Roberts who asked them for an easy program for the computer. So the two stayed for eight weeks and gave him a program in the basic language. In 1977, Bill Gates decided to leave the university permanently and this decision wasn't acceptable by his family of course. He wanted to stay close to Microsoft. What Bill Gates wanted most was to terminate his contract with Ed Roberts and Mist. Also the matter reached the court and Microsoft won the case so it could sell basic programs freely after which the money began to flow like water. And Microsoft sold the basic program to the most important computer companies such as Apple, Radio Shack, NCR and General Electric. Paul Allen and his colleagues also focused on software development and Gates was interested in signing contracts. With Nishi in Japan, Microsoft signed a contract in 1977 that gave millions of dollars to both parties. Microsoft's motto was work hard, develop your products and win. In March 1986, Microsoft entered the stock market. Paul Allen and Bill Gates became millionaires and Bill Gates became one of America's richest people but he continued to live his life in the same way. In March 1986, Microsoft moved back to new locations to accommodate an employees at Parkland. Bill Gates' success has many enemies who tried to fight him and there were several problems with Apple that reached the courts but he continued to produce the best software and applications produced by Microsoft. Questions Choose the correct answer. Bill Gates was born A rich family In. Into. At. Bill Gates wrote short programs. Basic. On. At. In. Bill was able to do work well and deliver it. Time. At. To. On. Bill and Paul Allen. A system to ease traffic crowdedness in cities. Advised. Devised. Advice. Paul Allen was. His way to visit Bill Gates. In. To. On.